Chikiyosh, your boy Fist in the his house. Bring another great edition of Black Ops 3 for me to you, because that's what I do. What's up, guys? Glad you're here enjoying the gameplay, bringing you another awesome edition. I've already said that, but I'm going to say it again, because it's been a long time since I've seen you. I don't get to see anybody, really. But... Your OG, Call of Duty OG, since 2006 on YouTube. And a lot of people were asking me, like, Fist, would you do a video about the lag? You know, how to fix the lag. I know a lot of people post videos about how to fix the lag, but really there's a lot to discuss. And the main things, a lot of things that I want to cover is... People are using different setups now, like for instance, Comcast and whatever cable provider out there has upgraded their stuff. So I probably need to do a basic, back to the basics, you know, um, how to make your connections a little bit better. I'm not going to say I'm going to solve your problem like a lot of people go out and make a video and say, there it is, it's solved. Because that's not really the case. Every every situation is a little bit different. And uh, this video right here that I'm shooting was... Now you might see a little stutter lag because people were on the internet in my house when I was downloading off the theater mode. Or it could be just because a lot of people are online. I don't really know. So it's not indicative of how well my connection... I mean, obviously at the end you'll see the score. And you can see we're all four bars and it runs pretty swell. And here I get a tripler or something like that. But anyways, going back on to topic. And that is cable providers now bundle their internet packages. So a lot of people out there, and you might be a victim of this. For instance, I was with Comcast and I love that new Xfinity X1 where you where you could talk into your remote control and you could do all this stuff, DVR, and, and there's just so much you could do, right? The problem is, is that a lot of people don't realize, is that when they get their modem, it's a dual band modem. And a dual band modem has a modem with a router in it. And it has two separate uh, 5 gigahertz that runs, you know, uh, at a different frequency for Wi-Fi and then the regular internet that's connected to your hardwire. Well, what they don't tell you, and a lot of people don't get this, and you might be a victim of this, is that you don't know that you are now a Wi-Fi hotspot for Comcast. So anybody who drives by your house or within a certain range, they can log on to your bandwidth and take up your bandwidth. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is you're paying for that. You're paying for extreme internet, and now somebody who has a Comcast, uh, as, who is a Comcast customer, can log on to your stuff and take your bandwidth. And I was kind of misled, misled by the installer. I asked him specifically, I said, this isn't gonna turn into some Wi-Fi hotspot. And he's like, no. And that was a complete lie. So the first thing, and, and, and here's another thing that he told me that I had to do some research on, but the 5G dual band modem that, or the router that's built into the modem is a, is a hidden network. So who knows? Who knows what that's being used for? So I was spiking about between like 60 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds on my streams. And so what I did was I researched just a... I researched just a uh, modem only, and I got the Netgear compatible Dox3 modem. It's an AC modem, um, and or I don't know if it's AC or DC. I don't, I don't know in particular. But you got to find the best modem for yourself. And before that. My location was in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I was like way out of my region. And so it goes back to a lot of stuff. So make a long story short before this video ends. 
you have to get your own if you can afford to do this and i know some people just live with their family and they, they're just not going to do that you're not going to spend another 149 dollars on a modem and have a separate router you got to be able to control all your stuff and another thing is you got to change all your ethernet cables because that's another thing people don't realize they don't change their routers they don't reset them they don't update the firmware firmware in their routers you need to update your firmware in your router you need to reset it you need to clear out all the stuff sometimes you need to turn everything off reset it get all brand new ethernet cables because your ethernet cables could fray inside and then your connection isn't going to go. or you may have a cheap ethernet cable cheap ethernet cable that doesn't it isn't 24 megahertz you know you want to have all this stuff to have a great playing experience and make sure that you're wired into your router um, so you get the maximum amount of bandwidth through your gameplay and your location is where you're supposed to be at so it could be the closest to the server so that is the quick tip video explanation if you want me to do like an a a dummy proof show you pictures show you the cable show you what to get show you how to do it so on and so forth leave something in the comments I'll try to do more videos on that because I know a lot of people are suffering from terrible connections and it's just it, it's just isn't fair because you got to check all your stuff first before you you know you assume that it's it's terrific. anyways I hope you enjoyed this video Oop! Until next time, it's your boy Fizz. Peace! I'm out!